I am Joe, you're you, and this is Fiduciary Friday. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to get a hold of me, click that link in the description and let's make it happen. For today's happenings, I'm going to be talking about my most popular topic, overpricing your home. If I've talked to you about it once, twice, a million times, I'm going to talk to you about it again today. Now, I'm not going to talk about how overpricing your home will cost you more money or how it takes longer to sell your house. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about what happens when we overprice your home and when we get showings. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, after we finally get a showing, we get a showing on your house if it's overpriced, what happens? I call up the realtor, I text them, I email them, I do whatever I gotta to do to get some feedback on the showing. Realtor will tell me about all the imperfections in your home every little problem that there is. Realtor will tell me the price of the home is overpriced. It's priced too heavy. Now, what do I gotta do? I gotta relay that information back to you. Now, I've been through it many times, but every time I go through this with the seller, it always hurts them, hurts them right here, right in the heart. Why? Because they're gonna hear all the bad things, they're gonna hear bad things about their home instead of the good things. Now, why do we hear this? Because after the buyers and the buying realtor go through your home, they've had it to compare against other homes, and it doesn't measure up. Why? Because it's overpriced. Now, this hurts. Now, you, the seller, have to hear about all these things about your house instead of all the good things. And we hear the good things when your home is priced properly. Because then we have people excited about your home. They want to sell it. They want to buy it. They want to move in. But not when it's overpriced. You get people grinding us. Giving us the bad feedback, it hurts. Now what else happens when you overprice your home? Cancellation of showings. These are a pain in the ass too. What happens, this happens to me most commonly on my overpriced listings. What happens? I get a request for a showing. We get excited, we're happy, we got some, we got some momentum here. We got something happening. Then, right before the showing, I get a call, a message, an email. Cancel the showing. Now, when I ask the realtor why, they'll have every excuse in the book. But what does it boil down to? The buyers or the buying realtor finally did a little bit of homework, better than the overpriced listing, and they cancel the showing. Why? Why are they going to waste their time? They see it's overpriced, and they see all these other homes that are priced better, and they go look at those, and they don't waste their time looking at the overpriced listing. This is most common on my overpriced listings. This happens, I get cancellations more on my overpriced homes than any of my other listings. So avoid this, avoid overpricing your home, price it properly, get people excited, get the buyers excited, get me excited, get you excited, and we'll sell your home. Thanks for tuning in, share this video, and we'll see you next week. Might have to clean the lens.